Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is just a little craft room desk tour. I have changed it up because I don't know if it's just me, but um, the things that hold the pencils, hold on, let me show you. I used to have this thing up there and it's got little pockets for pencils and I had scissors and stuff and like paper. I had like notes and stuff I want to do, stuff like that. Um, I'm getting rid of this. I'm going to put it in my daughter's room if she wants it. But it's a big, giant, bulky, I mean, it's a good 10 inches deep. It used to be right here, but I felt like it added so much clutter to my desk that even when I cleaned my desk, it looked like a mess. I had pens. I had, I'll show you my the inside of my drawer. I had all of my writing utensils. I had paintbrushes. I had bone folders in there. And then I had all my, like, stick stuff, like, for die cutting and stabbing stuff and, you know, all the little tools inside there bulging out and then i had all the paperwork it's just too much too much clutter i mean my desk is still kind of cluttered but it's way better i moved the sewing machine over here so i have more freedom to move it back and forth my little tabletop trash can the baby sleeping my little standy so cute i have two glues actually stacked up in there right now um, my barely arts is in those and then my scissors for sure stay on my desk because that is the first thing i reach for because they always go missing my surge protector because I have an alien spaceship <laughs> right here with all the lights. My brand new side lights so that I don't have shadows. I used to have a three tier tray right here that had like, again, it was just a, it was a catch all and it had my, um, my Nouveau drops on it. But that metal tier tray started getting too heavy and it started sagging. So I had to move my Nouveau drops off there. I have them in this clear, uh, container from Amazon and they're all pretty and then these are the overflow because I have too many I need to stop buying stickles and Nouveau drops I just have some trays and stuff this this thing is from Ikea it is metal and it's just like a I call it a workstation <laughs> I have all my like findings and stuff in this little basket for like making wire wrap beads or anything like that then I decided in here these are those little Michaels bins and any little projects that I was working on or I need to make more of, they're in here. Flowers that Lori gifted me, just um, embellishments that I can quickly use that are right here. And then these ones are all the ones that I made. Bows, chipboard pieces, bows that aren't embellished, um, some more die cut bows, just stuff like that that I can easily grab. And then on the bottom, I have some more of the wire wrapping tools. I have um, the tweezers and like tassel stuff right there at the very bottom. And my little Dollar Tree, you know, stand and rubber silicone mat right there for my hot glue gun. Back to the drawer, like must haves, hot glue, puffy tape. I need to refill this little section. Some threads to switch out real quick. Stapler, handmade with love tags. Thank you, Crystal. Um, glue eraser so you don't burn your finger. Little knickknacks that I jump to a lot are these little like dew drop things. My heat sealer for like bags that I open real quick and my new paper distresser, I love that thing. And then, you know, a bunch of other essentials in there. Over here directly to the side of my desk or envelope rack right here and I just have my most used uh, cutting boards or stamper, like any type of thing. Scoreboard and then my embossing powders using my art bin container because it's super thin and narrow and I can just stack it in there with other stuff. A paper cutter right here and I have another paper cutter right here. Oh my gosh, so many. And then I just have all these little bins which are labeled. Um, my CeeLo self sealing bags are definitely the top drawer because I reach for those the most. Puffy tapes, packaging supplies, um, my labeler, like these are all my go-to drawers. These are just like easy need to probably de-stash some of these. I like them, but I don't like them all. So I need to de-stash vinyl down there. Look at empty drawers. I was de-stashing punches, so de-stash is coming soon. A little planner, like a note things down there. Two punches. I made a mixed media drawer. I have yet to dabble into it, but I have it now. And here's my, um, another stapler and tape gun is in there. Directly to the left of my desk are seed beads and then those notes that thing that held all the pencils. Now I could just have the paper right here. I don't have to have them bulging out paper. It just, it was, it was a hot mess. <laughs> These right here are AliExpress hauls that I just throw in here as I open them and I need to do a video on them. So those need to be recorded. And then right here is stuff I need to 
need to put away. I buy and it's little and I need to put it away. It's in that basket. So, so far I've cleaned my room so good, organized that I only have this tiny little basket. I have like six, seven different all size baskets that I needed to do. Down here I used to have my sequins, but not anymore. I have some just regular hole punches because they used to be in my drawer, but I had to move my pens and stuff. New alphabet punch board that I need to play with more. And then that happy stitch I still need to play with and my wax melting that I haven't dabbled into yet. And then this door is just a container in here and it has all my Xyron cutting and replacement stuff in this little basket right there. So, so far I feel like my desk is more open and it is gonna work better for me. I mean, I'll probably switch it up again in another six months, but until then, happy crafting. Bye guys.